Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are building my fantasy league team for the season. I'm thinking of doing a league. I will let you guys know as soon as that is ready. Make sure you follow me on social media. I will post it there. But today it's just about the team. I need to put together what I think is going to be the most efficient way of scoring points. It's not always about picking your favourite players, is it? And that's a big problem for me. This happens every season when it's time to build the squad. I hate the fact that I might want like a, a Harry Kane or a Rashford because I don't want these players to do well for their clubs and score loads of goals and get loads of assists because I want Arsenal to win the title. It, it, it can be a little bit off like that for me. I find it difficult to kind of see that Harry Kane bagged a hat-trick this weekend. But hey, at least my team's getting points. I find that really kind of weird. So there might be some choices that people disagree with purely because I just can't, I can't support certain players doing well. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway, let's get straight into this. We're going to start off with our two goalkeepers. Now, typically you want to go cheap on one goalkeeper, like super cheap, right? And then have, I, I want to say like an average goalkeeper. And I should say I'm not an expert, but I like to save my money for the goal getters, the assist kings, I think I'm going to go with Leno as one of them. I don't think he'll be the keeper that starts, though. I'm thinking... Hmm. Okay, let's think about this. What you want is a goalkeeper that, that faces a lot of shots, but is good at shot stopping. A keeper that's going to do well for one of the mid-table teams, maybe. Um... So what you can do is you can go based off how many people are selecting a certain goalkeeper. See, Ariola makes sense. I don't know if he'll start, though. But 30% of players have put Ariola in their team. Ramsdale is very high up there as well. Onana, Pickford, Edison, Pope. See, Pope's a good shout, but 5.5 in terms of price. You can only spend 100, remember. It's quite high. Raya is probably leaving. I've heard that Bayern want him. See, I think Leno and Ariola are probably very good shouts. I'm a big fan of Leno. I'm, I'm not too worried about having him kind of be my starter. Fulham are a good team, but they, they will still face a lot of shots. I'm going to go with Ariola as the backup for now, but of course we can always go through this later on. We're going to go into our defence now. What I want to do is pick wingbacks, really. Having a few centre-backs isn't a bad thing, but in terms of getting assists with defenders and the odd goal, I guess you could say centre-backs are more likely to score headers and, and things like that. But wingbacks like Trent, Robertson, Shaw, they're going to get assists. So I'm quite tempted to go with wingbacks. Oh, a Astupinan, what a choice that is. He is going straight in. Very, very good choice. Luke Shaw is up there. Botman as well for only 4.5. Really? That seems very cheap to me. 4.5. Okay. I think Reese James is a good shout, but he's very injury prone, isn't he? See, this, this is difficult. This, this is where it gets difficult. What we're going to do is go by points last season. Wow, Ben White did well, didn't he? I'm quite surprised he's, he's only 5.5 after that season. Okay. I'm going to go with, oh, see, Trippier, it's, it's a guarantee, isn't it? He's going to get goals as well because he takes free kicks. I think I'm going to put Trips in. And I don't want to go with an Arsenal defender because I'm going to get three attacking Arsenal players. I'm obviously going to have three Arsenal players, obviously. Um, okay, so I want defenders that don't concede too much. See, I think Botman is just a good shout. I think Newcastle in general have just such a good defence. Hmm. But Cher is more likely to score, I feel like. This is really difficult. Who got the most goals? So, Gabriel, me, Pinnock. Pinnock, sorry. Oh, Pedro. Oh, Tottenham. <laughs> you see the problem, guys. You see the problem. Cancelo could be good this season if he stays. Ah, oh, okay. Let's just see what other people are taking. I think Luke Shaw for 5.5 is a no-brainer. That's that's really quite good. I'll throw Botman in there because he's worth 4.5. But then I'm going to put in a 4. I mean, Bell, Lamptey. 
Holgate. But I can see why people are taking Bell. Okay, I'll put Bell in as well. Because four is as cheap as it gets. And clearly, everyone thinks he's going to have a relatively good season for that value. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with what everyone else has been saying there. But effectively, I've got two left backs, um, one right back and two centre backs. Is Bell a centre back? I'm pretty sure he is, right? I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know too much about um, Luton's players. Actually, Bell might be a left back. Either way, I'm happy with that so far. We're going to go into midfielders now. Of course, Saka's in. Obviously, he's the most selected midfielder. Can we get a round of applause? Although you probably can't hear that because of my software cutting noise out. That's a really good price for Saka. He's going to have another very good season. Mitoma, I can see why people are excited about him. McAllister for six as well. Okay, let's just go based off points. I want to come up to my own conclusions here. I always want to put De Bruyne in, but for 10.5, that's a lot. Salah is, of course, very expensive. Thing is, I want Erdegaard, Saka, and Martinelli, I think. So those are be my Arsenal selections. I'm just doing it because I want those three players to really succeed. They're my guys. Saka, Erdegaard, Martinelli. I'm tempted to put Rice in this season, actually. Ooh. Thing is, from an FPL standpoint, I don't think Rice is going to get many points. I wonder how he did last season. Let's have a look. Declan Rice. He got 116 points. He's worth 5.5. That's not bad, is it? 116 points. And I'd kind of enjoy the fact that I've got him in there in, in his first season. I'll be rooting for him to get me points as well. Okay, so if I want Rice, I need to take out Saka, Erdegaard, or Martinelli. I am going to go ahead and... Take out Martinelli, because I'd rather Erdegaard and Saka, I think. But again, I, I need to stay switched on here. Who's going to get the most points? Okay, we'll come back to that. I, I think Rice maybe isn't what I'm going to go for. Okay, so I'm going to go with the formation 3-4-3, three, three, I believe. So I need one more good midfielder and then a super cheap one. So let's go based off... Teams selected by Mitoma is a really good shout. And Buemo as well. Um, Eze, good shout. Is Mason Mount going to have a good season? Maybe. Bowen is always a good shout as well, but quite expensive. I think I'll throw in Mitoma because I, I want Brighton players for sure. And then I'm going to go cheapest midfielder I can find. Or do I just go with maybe slightly more? Enzo, ooh, thing is, he's not really a goal scorer or an assister, is he? He's not really a provider. Hmm, Clivert could be a good one. But then again, Bournemouth might struggle. Okay, let's go up to 5.5. In Cisco, hello. That could work. Casemiro as well. Oh, this is really difficult. Every year I struggle with this for obvious reasons. Um, it's, it's very difficult to obviously predict which teams and which players are going to perform very well. I think the safest option really is to go super cheap here because this midfielder is going to be on the bench. Who is Baptiste? Is He's, he's a midfield, like a, a DM, isn't he? Hmm. Not great. Anderson I quite like, but I don't think he'll get much game time. Chukwemeka could potentially do all right next season for Chelsea. He's getting some minutes pre-season, isn't he? Vlasic? Mm. Really struggling here to pick out a cheap midfielder. Okay, I'll come back to it. I'm going to put Baptiste in for now just because Brentford, solid choice. Don't concede too many goals. 4.5 as his price, not bad. We are left with 10 for each striker, technically. So let's go ahead and look at the forwards. I'm not going with Gabby Jesus. Haaland is obviously in there, but I, I'm tempted not to, just to do something different. But he is, of course, the most selected player with 86.2% of players selecting him. That is ridiculous, isn't it? 
it's it's very difficult not to put Haaland in though, isn't it? Because you're just guaranteeing points. How many points did he get last season? 272. What? <laughs> um, okay. Making Haaland fit is going to be a problem because now I can only afford, let's say, nine and seven. Oh, man. I'm having three forward players, though. So I'm going to go with... See, and Kunku's a good bet. He's he's 7.5. And you know he's probably going to have a very good season. Technically, I could do Izak as well. And that leaves me with one. So now what I'm thinking is we go in for a 5.5 midfielder. And I think Casemiro was available for that, wasn't he? Yeah. And Cisco as well, though. Good, cheeky little player, isn't he? But I think Casemiro might be a better choice. He got 87 points last season. Enzo only played half, right? And he got 42. It's not bad. Okay, I think I might go Casemiro. I think United are going to have a very good season and he is, of course, going to have a massive part to play in that. What, what do we think of, of this as my kind of starting team? Because I'm sure, as everyone does, we're going to make changes, aren't we? As we see more of pre-season, there's going to be injuries potentially. I'm not too happy about my bell choice, but defenders four. Lamptey doesn't play, but maybe he will. Who do they normally play at right back? They play three at the back, don't they, with like Veltman and stuff. I don't know if they're going to actually get Lamptey into the team that much. Gusto could play quite a few games if um, Reese gets injured, which obviously he will. Um, God, I forgot about Spence. Is he going to actually play for Tottenham? <laughs> um, I mean, a Burnley defender? It's not bad. I'm just not feeling Bell. But then again, why would so many people select him? There must be a reason, and maybe I should trust that. Okay, that's, that's my team. Let me know your thoughts down below. Show me your team. If you could tweet me your team. Um, and show me what you've selected. I'm sure a lot of people are going to kind of <laughs> force me into a decision because I'm going to see their teams and go, oh my God, yeah, of course. The only thing I won't change is having these three Arsenal players. They've got to be in my team. So this is the squad I'm going to enter for now. We've obviously got a few weeks until the season begins. If I create a league, I'll let you guys know. Typically in the past, I've made one and then I just haven't I don't, I don't typically stay consistent with FPL, so I might not do one. But if I do, check out my Twitter. It'll definitely be on there and maybe Instagram. But thank you for watching, guys. I'm interested to see your thoughts and I will see you next time.